Looking back, 2022 was a stormy year. Snowstorms. Ice. Windstorms. Rain. crashing waves and blistering heat. We started last year sleeping in a pile of snow. and finish the year covered in it again. Thanks to all of you for visiting our channel, and welcome to everyone new. This video is about last year and the start of a new one. If you enjoyed it, click the like button and subscribe for more. Jonas and I sat down together and remembered everything that happened last year. We came up with three themes. First, brace for storms. And enjoy the calm. We've said many times on this channel that living on a sailboat means living close to the weather. Sometimes it's in your favor, and sometimes it's against you. We do our best to keep our eyes on the forecast. Prepare for incoming storms. And soak in the calms that come after. Weather is always a reminder that there is a great wide world beyond us, and we have lots of time to explore it. Second, prepare for things to break and try to fix them. 
and lots of things needed fixing this year. So we traced all the wires and they're connected to something. People say BOAT stands for Bring On Another Thousand, and we learned that statement is also true for camper vans. One thing about living in old, moving objects is that they tend to break down. And when your house breaks down, the pressure is on to fix it. 2022 reminded us that everything that moves and spins and floats in the water and bakes in the sun needs regular maintenance, including ourselves. We did it! it took way longer than expected. Third is adapt to change and establish new rhythms. Last year was full of change. As always, the location of our boat depends on the seasons. During fall and winter, we tuck away into the safety of the harbour. In the spring and summer, we sail off grid and moor on a ball on the islands to enjoy the fresh air and sunshine. The challenge this year was attempting to maintain semi-functioning schedules, and that meant we had to establish new rhythms. Rhythms of school, rhythms of work, rhythms of travel and waiting for ferries and buses and trains and planes to take us into the city. It takes time to get into a new groove, but we are always grateful once it happens. One of the big lessons 2022 taught us is that it helps to embrace the cycles. Cycles of seasons. Cycles of weather. Cycles of the ocean. Cycles of maintenance and repair. Cycles of learning. Cycles of business, of universities, of government, and of YouTube. And after almost three years living on the sailboat, we're starting to get used to the cycles of sailing to and fro here on the Pacific coast of Canada. Looking ahead to 2023, here are three intentions we'll be thinking about to keep ourselves moving forward. First is to make time for nature. It's a blessing to live on the West Coast and have the opportunity to experience so many incredible animals, plants, ecosystems, and landscapes. We plan to take lots of time this year to enjoy the beauty of British Columbia.
second is to strengthen our health. Adaptation to change is difficult and it can take a toll on our bodies and minds. Knowing that we'll face similar challenges this year, we want to prioritize strengthening our bodies and minds with regular activities, good food, lots of rest, and even more coffee. Third is to develop our skills. Living on the sailboat is a constant source of lessons learned, and some are more difficult to take than others. We want to deepen our understanding of this boat and how we can use it to keep exploring. We also want to keep learning more about producing high quality videos and providing valuable services in our work and school beyond. Thank you so much for listening and watching. We are grateful for the generous support of our patrons who keep us afloat. If you want to support us here on Blue Moon Life, check out the links in the description. <laughs>